Hey guys, it's Sam. Welcome to my channel. Today's video, I used the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette to come up with this really pretty look. I think it turned out really nicely and I'm really happy with how it turned out. So if you guys want to see how I came up with this, then please keep watching. So I'm just going to start off with my eyes. I'm not going to do my face yet. So I'm going to prime my eyes using the Tarte Shape Tape. Obviously. And I'm going to use a beauty blender. To set that, I'm going to take my NYX HD finishing powder. And I think it's translucent. No, it's banana. And I'm going to put that all over my eyelids. For my transition, I'm going to go into Pooter. Just put this right in my crease. I guess this is kind of a get ready with me because tonight we have family pictures. So, so after I got the transition, I'm just going to deepen that up just a little bit going into the color buns with the same brush, but I'm just going to strictly put it right in the crease. I'm kind of focusing more of these shades on the outer half. Next, I'm going to take Jax, which is just a really pretty, like, cranberry matte. And again, I'm going to just kind of keep putting it in the same spot. Focusing it more on the outer half. And then blending it with a different brush. So I'm going to go back in with Pooter. And I'm just going to blend this out. With a smaller, more dense brush, I'm going to take the color Chip. So if you don't have a really defined crease, like a mine kind of like hood over, what helps to find that is just lift up your eyebrow and then find your brow bone and just go right underneath that. And you can kind of create your, your own crease. Next, I'm gonna go in with Central Park, and it's just this really deep brown. And I'm gonna put it on the outer corner and just lightly blend in the crease. If you guys want, I can try to create one of Jacqueline's looks using this palette. She did one look using this palette, so I can maybe try to create recreate that if you want me to let me know if you like up close um shots of me doing my eyes or like far back like this i can always like zoom you guys in or whatever just let me know what works better what's easier to see either way is fine works for me so for the lid i'm gonna go in with obsessed on just a flat brush and then give it a quick spritz of my finishing powder. And I'm gonna put this all over my lid. So I'm gonna go back in with buns and I'm just gonna pack this on the outer part of my lid. And then also going to take Chip. So since I will be having pictures taken of me, I'm going to take my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Oil. And then I am going to take my Professional Primer 
and just put this where I have bigger pores, so on my nose. And again, since I will be getting pictures taken of me, I don't want to pick a foundation that has SPF in it because usually that leaves a white flash. I did wear this one to prom and it was a really good choice. I didn't have any flashback, so I think I'm going to go in with this one. So I'm just going to dot it all over my face. I'm just going to blend this in. So I'm going to build this up just a little bit in the spots that need more coverage. I'm not going to really swipe, I'm just going to kind of pat since I do want more coverage. So yeah, you can definitely tell it's not super matte and it's not really luminous either. It's kind of like just satin finish, I'd say. So now I'm gonna go in with my Tarte Shape Tape and conceal under my eyes and any blemishes. So once we got our base down, I'm going to take this Hard Candy Highlight and Contour Face Duo Stick in the shade Light, and I'm just going to take the contour side. I'm just going to contour. This is super cool tone. And I am going to do a little bit on my nose. I'm going to blend that in using a beauty blender. And I usually try to blend upwards because I don't want it to get too far down, otherwise it'll get a little muddy. And keep blending it out. I'm going to kind of do it into the hairline. This is like my second time using this product, so I'm not sure how I feel about it yet, but it's not terrible. It's blending all right, I guess. I mean, not the best, but I've seen worse. Before my um, under eyes start to crease, I'm going to set that using the HD powder by NYX. To finish up my contour and like bronzing, I'm going to take the Cheek Parade palette and go into Hoola and kind of bronze contour my cheekbones right on top of that cream contour. For blush, I'm going to take the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush in the shade Party. Now I'm going to go into under eyes and I'm going to take Pooter and go right under my eyes and I want my under eyes to be pretty smoky. And then next I'm going to go into Jax and Chip Mixed and go pretty close to the lash line.
So of course for my brows, I'm gonna take the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in Ash Brown. If you want to know how I do my brows, I did do a specific video on just my brows, so if you want to see that, then just go check out that. I'll link it down below. So after I fill them in, I take my Gimme Brow Benefit Brow Volumizing Fiber Gel, and I just run that through to set them. And I can never get them how I want with just this spoolie on here. So then I just go back in and use this spoolie on this to get them exactly where I want it. This is my brow that always cooperates. I know everyone has their favorite brow. I can never get mine to look alike, but they always say brows are sisters, not twins. Next, I'm going to highlight my brow bone and inner corner using the shade Beam from the Jaclyn Hill palette. Okay, so to highlight my face, I'm gonna use the Becca Jaclyn Hill collaboration palette and I'm going to use Champagne Pop and Prosecco Pop Mix. And I'm also going to take a little bit of beam that I used to highlight my inner corner and brow bone and I'm also going to put that right on top. And highlight my cupid's bow and a little bit on my nose I don't want too much so for eyeliner I'm gonna use my NYX wonder pencil in my lower or in my waterline because I want my eyes to look pretty open in the pictures And I'm going to put my lashes on off camera. So I went ahead and used the Salon Perfect Demi Wispies and I think they are really pretty. They're kind of more full on the outer edge. So I love that for this look since I have the darker colors on the outsides. For mascara, I'm going to use the Benefit Roller Lash and I'm just going to blend those real lashes into the falsies. I'm going to go ahead and use this on my bottom lashes as well. So for lips, I'm going to moisturize them using the Hey Honey Lip Balm just to kind of prep them for the lipstick. And for the liquid lip, I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit matte lipstick in Rebel Rose. It's 924B. Lastly, I'm going to spritz my face with the NYX Matte Finish Long Lasting Setting Spray. And I'm going to try to avoid my eyes just because I have mascara and usually it like runs down on my face. So. so this is the final look. I really hope you guys like this. I think it turned out really nicely. I'm really excited for these pictures. 
So if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and please subscribe so you see more videos of me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.